Hi. Today we will be making this. Looks cool. Please note that, this is not a beginner's tutorial. Although it's easy to make but you need basic understanding of the program. What I mean is, when we start a new chapter in school, we don't read the first chapter every time to get to the next chapter. Right? Alright, let's start. First we have to make our shoe move and jump like this, that's easy but a little tricky to do. Let's make a new composition. Note these settings. Hit OK when everything looks fine. Drag and drop the shoe image. Open position, right click and choose separate dimensions. Now we have both dimensions separated, X axis and Y axis. Choose pan behind tool, and put the anchor point of the shoe, somewhere below. Now apply keyframes to the Y position. Easy ease them. Go to the graph editor. Make sure your value graph is selected. Make a curve like this. The movement of the shoe depends on this curve. So you have to be experimental and concentrate on the result you get every time by tweaking the curve. Let's apply some rotation keyframes. See where the shoe is floating still in the air, and put the second keyframe right to that point. Now make a null object. Place it somewhere around the heel of the shoe. Now attach the shoe to the null object. Apply rotation keyframes to the null object, this time you have to do the inverse rotation. Something like this. Now let's make reactional rotation thing. Play with this until you get the best result. Perfect. Make sure none of these layers is selected and make a big rectangle shape. Rotate it like this. Apply position keyframes to the shape. It will act like a transition to the shoe. Make a nice curve with keyframes. Make sure you remember to switch between speed and value graph. Let's trim these two layers to the point where the shape appears. Like this. Now this is a fun part. Make a new composition. Give it a name and note all these settings. Here we will make random shapes. 
not exactly random but just some good looking shapes. You are free to make your own shapes, like circles, squares, triangles or anything. I chose these shapes. Because they kinda look modern or fashion type if I'm right. When you're finished making shapes, right click and make a new adjustment layer. Apply motion tile effect to the layer. When you change this value, you'll get a nice movement like this. Apply keyframes and change the value to get the movement. You can apply higher values like 20,000 to get a fast motion. Drag and drop low effect to the layer. Now put this to your main composition. Put transform effect to the layer. Apply CC repeat tile effect. This is a really cool effect to make your patterns and backgrounds look interesting. You can choose the settings that you like. Now apply posterize time effect. You can always change posterize time's value. Put this layer below all the layers. Drag and drop tint effect to the layer. Apply keyframes to the white color. Change the colors as you like, I will be using only three colors. Now randomly copy paste these three keyframes all over the layer. It'll give a nice color changing effect. Duplicate the layer and flip it. This is optional, only if you want more movement to the scene. Offset the color keyframes to get different colors at the same time. Let's type the text. And I would suggest you to choose a really clean text. Shopping promos usually have clean text, so the viewers can easily understand what they are selling. Recompose this text layer. Double click and go to the precom. Duplicate the layer and type the other word. Draw a rectangle shape. Drag and drop set matte effect to the text layer. It should look like this. Apply position keyframes to the text. Apply scale keyframes to the rectangle layer. Looks good, let's do the same with the other text. Sure 
add one more text. Apply one of those effects to the new text layer. Now go to your main comp, and it should look like this. Place it somewhere at the top. Drag and drop transform effect to it. Apply glow effect to the layer. Now put drop shadow effect. Make two to three duplicates of drop shadow effect and tweak them as you like. Now make a shape like this or you can directly draw a rectangle shape around the shoe. Choose gradient color instead of solid fill color. Let's apply opacity keyframes to give it a flashing entrance. It will flash as the shoe strikes the ground. Select these layers and recompose them. Make a duplicate of the composition layer. Name it as Reflection. While the layer is selected, right click and choose Flip Vertical. Adjust the position. Right click the reflection layer, and choose 3D layer. Adjust the rotation. Draw a mask if needed. Apply fast blur effect to the reflection. Lower down its opacity, and there you have it. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something. Also I want to thank all the people here and all who are supporting me on Patreon. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and leave a like if this was helpful. Let's hit 4000 subs before the next year. I am working on a really cool lyric video tutorial.
I'll be back soon as it's finished. Till then, goodbye.